Hello friends. Now I'm going to show you how to deploy ASP.NET web application to AWS Lambda. So to deploy ASP.NET web application to AWS Lambda, first we need to uh, create an ASP.NET uh, core application. So for that, let us open Visual Studio. So let me open the Visual Studio. Once we open the Visual Studio, there we can select this create new project. Here we need to choose that uh, template. It is opening, let it open. So we need to choose it AWS serverless application.NET Core. So we need to click on this. Just double click on it and give it a project name like uh, let me give Lambda serverless Lambda serverless Okay, uh, click on create Here you need to choose uh, let us create uh, ASP.NET Core Web API. So here we have several options For now, let us choose this option ASP.NET Core Web API Select on it and click on finish so this will create a project with all the required configurations to host this uh, web API, .NET Core Web API to AWS Lambda. So it is creating the project. Let's wait for a moment. Once the project gets created, let us go to Solution Explorer. See, if I right click on it, we will have this option, Publish to AWS Lambda. If we create a project without selecting that uh, .NET serverless, uh, we won't get this option published to AWS Lambda. And one more thing to get these options. First of all, we need to open Visual Studio and we need to click on extensions and we need to uh, uh, <clears throat> download this AWS toolkit. So we need to click on manage extensions here <clears throat> in Visual Studio marketplace. We need to search for it. Uh, the AWS toolkit extension See this one as we have already installed it is showing in green So unless and until we select that uh, we install that extension. We cannot see that option. Let me open again I'm saying about that option We click on new project so we have that option right project templates uh, not templates just to wait for a moment Yeah, this this one yeah, it will just serverless application dot net core We cannot uh, have this one unless and, and until we down we install that AWS extensions so once we install that extensions we will get this option and we need to double click on it then only we will have that uh, Project uh, for which we can directly host it to lambda Okay, uh, we if we select this uh, .NET Core Web API or .NET this one, we will not have this option uh, published to AWS Lambda, right? So we should be careful. And uh, uh, for this project, we will have this serverless dot template. So this is the main important thing. Two important files are there for which uh, we will provide all the AWS settings. So this is one first one, AWS Lambda tools defaults dot JSON here. We will mention what is the profile for the AWS and what is the configuration we are going to use. What is the framework? This is the framework uh, on which we are building that .NET Core API, and this is the S3 suffix prefix. I'm sorry, and this is the serverless start template. And also one more file we have serverless start template. Here we mention all the required settings like uh, this is transform, which is nothing but uh, SAM serverless application model which indicates and this is the description this is the cloud formation stack using this it will create a stack and from that stack when once we host this <coughs> web api to aws lambda uh, it will create a cloud formation stack and from that stack it is going to create an api gateway and it also it is going to create a lambda function and this api gateway is pointing to the lambda function so just let me add a controller to it right click add controller 
so let us click on api so we are going to add an api controller empty controller so let me give the name as customer controller so once we create the controller we will add a method which will return just a customer so for now we will just directly return the customer object we will hard code that so let us let me write that as public so let me return the json result and get customer give the name as get customer So new JSON result of I'm just directly hard coding the values for now. Customer name equal to test customer. Customer city Mumbai. Let us give some pin code. Okay. So we have added this method. Uh, let us define this as HTTP get. What is it showing? Okay, we need to return it, right? Return. let me build it so to test it first we need to add the swagger then only uh, we can test it easily so to add the swagger uh, let us uh, right click on it we need to install a NuGet package so let me install the package that which we require to install the swagger so for that this one slash buckle this swagger we need to install it And this is the uh, Swagger which we use here. You see Swagger tools for documenting APIs built on ASP.NET Core. So once we install the Swagger, we need to do some settings to make it work perfectly. So for that, let us go to the startup file. In the configure services, we need to add that uh, Swagger method. So services dot add Swagger gen. So just let me paste it here. And the other thing is we need to set up the swagger in the configure configure method. So let me copy this one and we paste it here just before this. Let me format this neatly. Okay. Now we have added all the required configurations to for swagger so this is the api name which we have given lambda api now let us build this it has built successfully now let us run let me press ctrl f5 so if you see this text welcome to running asp.net code on lambda this we it came from this uh, uh, startup.cs so this text now let us browse that swagger so it has browsed successfully as we have installed that new cache pa new get package and all did the required configurations so this is the customer controller which we have added and this is the get method so let me try it out click on execute see it has written the customer 200 okay and these are the customer details now all, everything is ready so we need to host this application to AWS Lambda. So before hosting this application to AWS Lambda, let me log into my AWS console. So this is my AWS console which I have logged in. So for if you see observe cloud formation. Let me click on this cloud formation. So 
see we don't have anything in the cloud formation once we host this web api to lambda we will see the cloud formation and we will see the api gateway and also if you observe api gateway we don't see anything in the api gateway as well right and also if you go to aws lambda we won't see anything here so let us uh, deploy this application to aws lambda so to deploy this application to aws lambda first we need to connect to the aws uh, environment in which we need to deploy so for that uh, let me click on this edit so here we need to provide the access key id and secret key so these we can get from iam so to get these in iam first we need to create a role which we want to use to deploy the aws uh, lambda so for that uh, you need to go to iam I am so you need, you need to click on roles not roles users I'm sorry I'm extremely sorry users so you need to click on add user and you need to give some name and just you need to provide uh, check this button access key programmatic access so so it should have the programmatic access so that uh, we will have that access key ID and secret key generated and uh, once we select it and we click on next permissions and uh, we need to uh, give the admin permissions and click on tags we need to so provide in some tags and click on next and create user once we click on the create user we will have that uh, access key id and access secret key so we need to save it if we lost it we cannot uh, have it again so we need to save properly also uh, we will also get an csv file so once we click on create user along with access key and access key id we can also get one csv file so we need to keep that csv file safely uh, instead of uh, providing this uh, manually we can import the csv file uh, which was uh, given by amazon and then we can click on ok so once we click on ok i have as i have already created access key i am not creating here so i am clicking on cancel So let me refresh this. Region, uh, US North, US uh, North Virginia. This is the region on which uh, I want to deploy my ASP.NET. <clears throat> so we, after providing all these details, uh, just go to Solution Explorer, right click on Lambda, and click on Publish to AWS Lambda. So once we click on publish to AWS Lambda, it will uh, uh, take the profile, default profile uh, for the for our AWS, uh, AWS account. And it will select the S3 bucket name and also we need to provide the stack name. I'm sorry. So let me close it. This bucket name, we have the buckets. Let me open to, let me open S3. As I have already bucket uh, bucket called cloud formation template uh, bucket, so it is it is showing all these three buckets here. So if you observe it, all these three buckets and stack name, we need to provide. So we can provide the stack name in this file AWS Lambda Tools Default JSON. So let me provide the stack name. Stack hyphen name. So the stack name Lambda. Web APIs. Okay, this is the name I have provided. So now it will choose this name from here. Let me go to Solution Explorer. Right click on this and click on Publish to AWS Lambda. Now see the stack stack name has come, and this is the S3 bucket in which uh, it will keep all the required files. Uh, to <clears throat> create the lambda function and api gateway so just click on publish
it's taking a time. Now this screen has come in which uh, we can see the status. It is create in progress. Once the publish is done successfully, we will get the AWS server serverless URL. Once we browse that URL, we can browse our API. So it is still in progress. Let me pause the video for a while. Once it completes, I will again start. So if you see, observe, it is creating, create in progress, create complete. So it, uh, it will provide, uh, it will create two things. First, it will create API gateway and it will create Lambda function. And this API gateway will point to the Lambda function, right? So create complete. So now we have this URL. We copy it and we browse this URL. And if it gets browser successfully, then we are da done. So it has browsed successfully. And if we browse the swagger, see the swagger is also browsed successfully. Uh, this is nothing but the API ID, API gateway ID. If you go to uh, this file, <clears throat> which file, serverless.template file, here, if you see, serverless rest api it will create a rest rest api in api gateway that id execute api this is the url and this is the region and this one prod so in this way it will generate so this is the api gateway id and this is execute and this is the region amazon.com and this is the prod so it will create stages now if we go to aws uh, if we go to cloud formation We'll see that uh, stack. So go go to stacks. It is Mumbai region. So let me change to US East region. This one. See. Now API Lambda Web API. This is the stack name we have given. If you see in this file, we have given the stack name. So this is the stack name. You go open the stack. Uh, you can check all the progress and what are the resources it has created. It will create Lambda function. It will create API gateway. Serverless REST API, this API gateway, right? And if you go to API gateway, where is that? Yeah, here. So this is the API gateway which got created and we have the stages, prod stage and this is the URL. So if you browse this URL, it will point to Lambda function and where is that Lambda function? Let me open it. If you go to click on services and if you click on Lambda, there we can see our Lambda function which is deployed through Visual Studio. So this is our lambda function. This is our lambda function. This is pointing to our API gateway. So this is the function. And if you browse the swagger, so it has browser successfully in the swagger. Let us test our method, get customer, try it out, click on execute. It has executed successfully. 200 OK result we have got, and this is the customer details. In this way, we can develop a web API in Visual Studio and we can deploy it to AWS Lambda. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.